Okay, I'm in front of the Justice Building and have a conversation with somebody here. I'm gonna have a little chat. Hey, what's your name? Sylvain Pelletier. Sylvain, you are? Lawyer for Legal Aid in New Brunswick. Legal Aid, oh my God. It's a, if it's a summary conviction, you're not gonna help me, right? Uh, first, yes, uh, but then you have to check with Legal Aid if you want to have uh, somebody for your trial. But at the beginning, I will help you and advise you, yes. But I have no money. Yeah, I will still advise you, but after, if you want to I'm be, on my own. Yeah. I'm at the mercy of the courts. Okay, never mind that. Um, have you noticed a problem in the courts of people being sentenced to jail in the Blackbird Road, in the St. John Provincial Jail, but they don't serve their full sentence? It's, uh, yeah, uh, there's people I know that uh, are sentenced for like a few months and that because they are so crowded in there that uh, they are released on either house arrest or uh, one third sometimes. So, yes, and people were supposed to serve time for fine on pay. Uh, they go in and they have to be released because there's no space for them. So instead of serving 10 days, they serve one, two days and they're gone. Has this been happening a lot? Uh, I hear it about, I hear about it, yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's because lately the prison are full and they have no space for a, a small crime, so they don't they let them go because they cannot keep them. How did they decide what's a big crime and what's a small crime? I don't know. I'm just saying like yeah. usually it's s small stuff, so usually some reconviction offense small stuff so if they are receiving uh, jail for that they will usually go first and before the indictable offense. So. If who decides who leaves early? Would you know that? No, it, I, usually it's the uh, prison really the director or the people working there so uh, Payback? Is there payback under the table maybe? I don't, <laughs> I don't have to answer I that and I'll so. just say that. I don't think so. No? no? They don't give a special code number and <laughs> you'll be I out of here? No, no, I hope not. No, no, of course not. This is your Brunswick. We don't do that. That's just down the states. So there is a problem with overcrowding. Oh um, no, there's been a few. Yeah. It's been a problem for the last few years. and. Uh, how long have you been involved in this? You mean uh, in uh, Legal Aid? Yeah. I'm working for Legal Aid since 2004, so it's been six years. Is this the worst you've ever seen it? Uh, I think so, yes. Yeah. I believe that the judge are more severe now than before, and but the problem is that there's no space to keep them in custody, so even if they receive jail sentence, the people go back on the street. Would they tell a lot of people on the street, hey man, this is all right, just do the crime, you don't do the time. They don't, but uh, when you ask them, so why are you released? It's because good behavior in there and uh, they have no space to keep them, so they release them. Do you know what Scorcher had the same problem, do you know? I know, they, I know. I know some people escape from, uh, they let people loose that they weren't supposed to, something like that. But anyway, that's, that's another problem. And is that jail done, finished in Chigat? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, no. Okay, c'est bon. Merci beaucoup. Bienvenue.